why did you, um, so there's all that. One sec, hell yeah, I want to make sure this gets in there. Numbers, variables. There's the work we just did. Go. Um, why did you divide it by five? Because, again, my job was to get R by itself, yes? And pi multiplied by R, so to get rid of multiplication, I have to do division. Just like if I had 2x equaled 18, to get rid of the 2, I would divide by 2, and x would equal 9. Okay? All right. Let's try the third one. Volume of a sphere, find the radius. Volume of a sphere is 4 pi r cubed over 3. Right? Could you do the same thing with this one? Pardon me? Could you do the same thing with the column, like how this one has like the one over three times? You couldn't do this. Yeah, 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 you could do that too. Yep. Like we could put the whole equation over three? Yes. Okay. This makes the algebra easier. Oh, I was wondering. All right, so now what am I trying to get by itself? Uh, R. So again, we can find either using the letters or using the numbers. Everybody by now has a preference. I personally move around the letters first because then I never get confused about when to square root or this, that, or the other thing. I always move the letters around first. Does that mean you have to move the letters around first? No, of course not. You can do, put in numbers right away and then move it around. Whatever you want to do. I am going to move the letters. I need R by itself. So this three is the furthest thing away, right? How do I get rid of divided by three? Multiply by three. Three's gone. If I do something to the right, what do I do to the left? Same thing. So I got three volumes equals four pi r cubed. How do I get rid of four times pi times r? Divide by four pi. So I divide by four pi. Now I've got three volumes divided by four pi equals r cubed. I need r by itself. If it was r squared, what would we do? We'd find the square root, right? Well, now it's r cubed, so what do we do? Cubed root. So I take the cubed root of 3v over 4 pi. Now, if you can get to there, have you done the math? Yes. Because once we're here, we've got to go to our calculator, don't we? This is the math. This is what I need to see for you to succeed here. But that's not real life. So then we got to go to our calculator. Now, I've said this many, many, many times. Is your calculator skill your math skill? No, they are completely different. Because all of you can do a lot of stuff with a calculator. But I give you, if, if I give you a calculator you've never seen before, it takes a while to figure it out, doesn't it? So calculator skill is not math skill. So punching that in to your calculator is very, very difficult. Now I would put my numbers in. 3 times 7,602 divided by 4 pi then I would cube root the whole thing. That's the way I would do this. Now to punch that into your calculator, most of you are going to need to start under here, get this number by doing 3 times that divided by that. And of course you remember, you've got to put brackets around anything in division if there's more than one operation. That's going to give you an answer. And then you're going to need to cube root that answer which again is really hard to do on calculators if there isn't a cube root button because everybody's calculators are different. So if you even got to the cube root of some number, you'd be perfectly, you'd be done. Everybody cool? So all of you should try to get this into your calculator because it's good calculator practice. Now that we've done the math, we understand the math. Let's learn how to get it into a calculator. What number is going there? What number is going there? 1,814 
0.84. If you didn't get that showing on your calculator screen, you need to practice with your calculator a bit. And then, of course, we would take the cube root of that, which we'll do another day. I don't want to get you scared of your calculators. If you left it like that, I'd be perfectly happy because I can do that. If you, if you know how your calculator is cube root, some calculators have a cube root button. makes it real easy. Some don't. And then you got to punch a... It's a weird sequence of buttons to get a cube root if you don't have a cube root button. And sat joke, it's different on everybody's calculator. The whole next unit, everything is different depending on the kind of calculator you have. And I don't want to have that fight now when I've got to spend the whole next unit having that fight. Nathan. Okay. Hell yeah. You did. I, that's very strange to me. You did three times seven thousand six hundred and two. Then you divide it by four times pi. Do it again. Then you're cal you're having trouble with your calculator, and I'm spending time with the calculator so you guys get to know how to do it. Jotika, while she's working, go. Huh? Of course it is. It's in the unit. Yep. If you don't get it this time, hell yeah, I'll have to show you on, in a moment because I got to keep going. This, I'm assuming this is the key button, is the, the shift one. Yep. That, okay. Okay, it's. I'll show you in a sec. We'll talk about it in a second. All right. Don't bother doing anything with four. Don't bother doing anything with four. All right. All of you now should be able to do five. Notice I've given you no numbers. Solve for X means get X alone. All of you should be able to do that now. I'm well aware of what that was. There's a whole episode on Seinfeld about George getting a donut out of the garbage. All the more reason, again, to give me more reason to ban food in my class. If I, when you're doing Pythagoras, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, what's the last step to get rid of the squared? Square root. So what's the opposite of squared? Square root. So what's the opposite of square root? Squared. So if I square that side, I'm just going to wait a second because I got to shut up some people. Okay, gentlemen. This is your last week that the four of you sit together. So start scouting out better locations in the class. And the other four people that are going to be displaced by those four, I apologize, but it has to happen. So on Monday, there will be four people in new seats. I apologize. It's just the way it's going to be. So, of course, if I square this side to get rid of the square root, what must I do to this side? Same thing. So a squared equals 2x plus 4. I need x by itself. How do, what's my next move? Minus You're going to subtract 4 from both sides. Equals 2x. And what is my last move? Divide by two. You're going to divide by 2. 
So x equals a squared minus 4 all divided by 2. Now, if I gave you a number for a, you would then use your calculator to solve this. But when you punch into your calculator, you must remember, since there's more than one operation, you must use brackets. Because your calculator does everything through bed mass. It does not know what you want it to do. It can only do what you tell it to do. So if you don't put brackets there, your calculator is going to square A, then it's going to take away 2. Because 4 divided by 2 is 2. And that will not be the right answer. Is everybody good? All right. Now, all of that yucky, difficult algebra leads us to the algebra you need to be able to do for the next unit. If you can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will take 2 seconds. How are you going to get x by itself there? You're going to multiply both sides by what? 4. I'm going to write it big. Times 4, cancel, cancel. X equals times 4, 92. Right? Okay. How are you going to get X by itself here? You're going to multiply everything by 60? You're going to multiply everything by 5? Hmm? You're going to divide everything by 5. That's actually what you're going to do. But the reason is, we don't want x in the denominator, do we? First thing I'm going to do is get x out of the denominator spot. So I'm going to multiply that by x. That's going to get rid of that x. If I multiply this side, what do I got to do this side? Same thing. So now I've got 60 equals 5x. Now, how do I get rid of the 5? I divide by 5, I divide by 5, and x equals 12. The reason I am showing you this last and the reason I am showing you all the algebra that goes with it because this is one of the rare times that I will show you a shortcut and say commit the shortcut to memory. If you have a fraction and the variables in the numerator spot, you just multiply the two numbers. If you have a fraction and the variables in the, the denominator spot, you do 60 over 5. You divide. It is going to become absolutely essential that you can do these in your head like that. Not get the value, but know the operation that you are going to do in your head before you go to your calculator so we can do the next unit. Does everybody understand? So... If we all understand, then everybody should be able to tell me what this is. And you will need your calculator. What's x equal in green? Thirty-seven point five, because two point five times fifteen equaled x. And in pink, what then is? And you will need your calculator. 75 over y equals 12.5. That's going to be 6. Oops. Y is going to equal 6 because you did 75 divided by 12.5. Everybody good? When the numerator's on the bottom, we divide the two numbers. When the... New, when the ver when the variable's in the numerator, we multiply the two numbers. Everybody good? All right. You have the rest of this block, which is 23 and 42. No, 23 and 18, which is 41 minutes to work on pages 44 through 45, 46, inclusive. Tomorrow, you will get about... Max, minimum 15 minutes, maximum 25 to make sure all this is done. You manage your own time.
I'm about to talk about that. You do have ounces. It's on your sheet. Yeah. The rulers, remember, you are to pretend this ruler goes all the way down here. And it starts at zero. It's a little bit hard to see because the photocopying is crappier on your guys' sheet than it is up here. It stops right there. One line past that. And this one stops right there. Two lines past that. Go. Is there a view being marked? Of course it's being marked. But like, is it going to count as... Of course it is. It's an assignment. Mm. And remember, there is a 10 gummy bear bonus. Number 31 is not part of the review. It's not going to count against you or for you. If you leave it blank, that's fine. But we will go over it because it's a really good question. Whoa. Olivia's hand was up first. Go. I'll talk about that in a second because I'm sure other people are going to ask and I want to explain it to everybody, even though I did yesterday. Go. Yes, I will talk about that in a minute or right now. All right. What are those three measurements? Kilometer, meter, centimeter, right? They're all meters, yeah? There's one kilometer is a thousand meters is a hundred thousand centimeters, yes? Because that's how metric works. What's important? The M or the K and the C? The K and the C. So no matter what letter goes here, the K and the C tells us, right? So if I told you there was a metric measurement that was a quetzal, how many quetzals are in a kiloquetzal? 1,000. If there's one quetzal, you need 1,000 quetzals in kilo, right? Just like this. One kiloquetzal is 1,000 quetzals. How many centiquetzals is it? 100,000. So your question has KL and CL, right? So it's kiloliters and centiliters just like kilometers and centimeters, okay? And the reason I put them in there is because actually in other parts of the world, they actually use those weird metri uh, SI fractions that we don't. Like we never use a decimeter, but they do get used in other parts of the world. We never use a hectoliter, but they do in other parts of the world. Beer in Canada is measured in milliliters, but in Europe, it's measured in centiliters. A beer in Canada is 330 milliliters. In Europe, if you get a beer, it says 33 centiliters because they actually use all the metric divisions. That's why. So it doesn't matter what the L is. What matters in metric is the K and the C. Now, when you, there's another question there that compares ounces to milligrams. And if you look on your sheet, you only have ounces to grams. But you know how to move grams to milligrams because it's the same as moving meters to millimeters. Okay? Uh -huh. Go. <laughs> yeah. 